Hey, detox is going to improve here. Oh boy. Oh fucking boy. So basically, uh, I saw the dilemma on Twitter. So if it wasn't for the fact that I was on Twitter, I probably would have learned about it like a day later. Uh, I expect at least two YouTubers that I watch to be talking about it. And I will say, and I don't want to give them too much credit because I already milk enough YouTubers on my channel as it is. You know, I've got my accountability for that, you know. Um, but yeah, anyway. Fuck. Oh, God. You know, I'm trying to laugh this off, but fucking hell, this is, it's, it's a joke. It, it is a genuine joke, you know. True people who have good intentions, but our context would see as bad intentions. They just get gaslighted. It's like, oh, my God. To toxic masculinity, oh my fucking god, you know? <laughs> oh, the state of the world, bro. The world, the world, right, it'll never be truly fixed, you know? Like, you know, John Lennon, wanting world peace. That's never going to happen. It's just built into our brains that we've always got to chase or better, and the fact that we'll always have deep hatred inside of me, you know? Like, I've had a, I had a dream, you know, last night where my mom was in the car and then she kept doing stupid stupid shit to the point that it it broke it got me to boiling point i love her to death but i just fucking hate when things get worse worse and worse and worse to the fact where i just want to fucking punch something bro I'm just fucking retarded dude. like fucking really is dude i know that word is controversial now but Whatever, the whole topic of this video is about woke culture and how the fuck it's getting worse, bro. It is ridiculous. It is absolutely just bizarre and it just needs to be put on hold, right? I've still got a lot of future plans going up and don't worry, they're not fucking, you know, illogical plans. But if you guys have been following my Twitter, that's where I post a lot of more of my uh, unfiltered shit, like replies and clips of things so it's like kind of like what i post on my other media in the first place but on there i sometimes you know just like tweet quotes or just my take on certain dilemmas or dramas or whatever but mainly because recently andrew tate has got raided again yes again you know i technically support him i don't support everything that he does because it was three things that he's done in the past body body blah um, no, he's, he's not toxically masculine. That part of the equation is fucking bullshit. It's just fucking woke feminism trying to fuck people over as it normally does. Feminism has changed. It used to be a positive thing, but now people are taking it too far, but they'll give it as an excuse for fucking anything. It's just ridiculous. And, um, I've been calling a lot of people out, including KSI, this woke female bitch. Yeah, I'm actually calling her a bitch because that's what she is. She she literally, her page, when I quickly checked it, was just full of memes of just, you know, oh my God, you know, in the pizza delivery guy after he found out he didn't, you know, get the tip from Andrew Tate and he was just like, he was like this gay guy calling the fucking police. And I'm not kidding, he was actually gay. Like, he had like the gay voice and everything. It wasn't just some point it on. It was just, what, what do you expect, bro? What do you expect? It's just stupid shit like that, you know? Speaking of, I do not like Sneeko anymore. You know that video where I was called I was wrong about Sneeko? I was double wrong. Dude's a fucking goon, you know? Like, still can't believe he defended cuties. I will never agree on that shit. Man's a fucking numbskull. I don't care if the message is still, you know, oh my god, it's supposed to make you uncomfortable. The whole, the whole fact about it was, is that it's just, it's wrong... And it made, you know, it made people fucking end up having a fetish over it. So, you know, um, yeah. And uh, anyway, basically, yeah, it's just, he's an imbecile. And the drama that he was having with Charlie was fucking uncalled for and ridiculous. And the fact where he was calling out, you know, like, oh my God, he's, he's got a girlfriend. Look, 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 look. And he gets his phone out like a, like a fucking 12 year old. It's just, it's ridiculous. You know, he really is sucking fucking Andrew Tate off on this shit. It's ridiculous, you know. He is, is like Soldier Boy and fucking um, the boys said to fucking, you know, to Homelander. 
basically, Andrew Tate, deep down, I bet he's thinking about Sneeko, that Sneeko's just a cheap fucking knockoff. Literally, just, just word for word, like, Soldier Boy said. It is fucking mad, you know? Like, I know, I know they get along, but deep down, I bet, Andrew Tate's thinking, wow. Your younger, more naive fucking version of me. Anyway, back on woke culture. So nowadays, people fucking slander you for actually trying to fucking get on with your life, work on yourself, and just have the better. Most women don't fucking understand that the main reason that men are becoming assholes is either one or two reasons. One, because men don't fucking understand the actual priority of... Mixing things together. Don't be a full dick or else women will hate you. You need to even it out like fucking 50-50 bread. That, that that that's my joke. It's like if I was a if I was a food, what would I be? Oh yeah, bread. Because I always try and even things out. If you even things out, you'll get in there. You know, don't don't full, fully throttle something or else you'll be fucked in the long run, you know? It's just shit like that. Um I even post on my Twitter, I can't wait until this joke of the year is done because it genuinely feels like I'm living in the Truman Show, it does, you know, one minute I'm fucking fine and then the next minute I get thrown in the most out of this world bullshit ever, it's just, it's mad, it's completely mad and it's just, yeah, you know, the, the amount of bullshit drama I've had this year, the amount of bullshit inner demons I've had to face, including from last year, is just Fucking ridiculous. It is ridiculous. Completely ridiculous. I just, I, I really can't believe this shit. Honestly. The world recently is just mad. And ego is getting worse for everyone. Depression is getting worse for everyone. You know. Um, more good now. I've got, I've got something good to show you. So basically I just recorded a test thing. I can't upload it yet because I'm fucking stupid school will probably track it. But basically I've just recorded... A test thing for my future project. Yeah, you heard me. Project Red Pill. So uh, I'll just quickly play you the uh, audio. I'll just check if it's up or not. There you go. Right. Get ready, detoxers. Here we go. Wait, why isn't the volume up? I did put the volume settings on. Where is that guy's subject? Okay, I finally got it. Let's go. Hello, this is a test for the upcoming podcast coming out in hopefully a year or two time. The Project Red Pill podcast, where we talk about masculinity, wealth, and mental. Mental health, it was meant to say, but it fucking cut off. Basically, you know, it's coming. Oh. <laughs> Better not be coming in that way. You know, um, yeah, it's coming. I've got a full plan ahead. Um, you know, I'm rearing to go, and uh, yeah, I just I can't upload any audio yet because if I more than likely put my personal email into this this laptop, it will more than likely score or find out because it's got all school details so i think logically they'll find out so until i definitely confirm that it's my laptop or i get another laptop in the future then i can start uploading it because i'm getting the roots of audacity because that's what i'm using right now you know i'm using audacity which is right there that's audacity there so yeah but yeah um i really talk to you enjoy this video Oh boy, I can't wait. There is a lot of uh, lot of plans coming your way, you know. Um, things are going to finally get sorted out. So yeah. Be, pre be prepared. Be prepared. Right, see you. Take care. Peace.